Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little update video on just kind of what's been going on with this whole thing after about roughly a month or so since my videos first started to gain some traction. A lot of you may have seen a video that I posted a while back called How It Feels to Go Viral Overnight. This is sort of like an update to that after what's what's kind of been going down after about a month now here's what i'm not gonna do i'm not i'm not gonna post one of these videos every month like ha ah, two months after going viral ah, five months after going no i just for me I, I still feel like a viewer i don't I, I it's weird i almost don't even feel like a content creator because me consuming the people that i love to watch on youtube that none of that's changed so for me it's just like i guess the only difference is that i put put out videos too but it, it's it's funny it's a very surreal thing this is just the kind of thing that i've always wondered about when i see something like this happen to somebody a creator go from very very small to either huge or moderately sized in a very short amount of time i've always been curious about what that is like what comes with that what sort of opportunities or doors open up how quickly do things move a lot of things have happened and i've been thinking about a lot of things so i figured i'd uh, just make an update but you won't you won't hear another one of these videos for, at least for a while i don't know depending on what happens in the next year maybe i'll do one after a year or something but but hopefully some of you enjoy a look inside of what it's like for one of us to suddenly get some views <laughs> the first thing that i'll cover is something that i imagine most people are curious about and that is money has this resulted in money either in the form of ad revenue or sponsorships or anything like that short answer kind of so here's what has happened over the course of the last three to four weeks i've made enough money just via youtube ad revenue alone to i guess pay my expenses for this month which is incredible i mean that's just like i'm totally blown away but that's also considering i had a video that g gained quite a bit of traction i think it has like 1.4 million views on youtube right now and you might expect that it would be more than that except for the fact that my videos tend to be really short revenue wise there's not a ton of ad revenue there. YouTube's just not gonna fork out the money for such low watch time, which considering how short my videos are, I mean, you guys watch a huge percentage of my videos. Like oftentimes I'll have videos that, that the watch time is over 100%, which means that people are replaying them over and over, which is incredible. So uh, thank you for that. But yeah, I mean, I'm able to pay my rent for this month and not much else, but, but that's totally fine by me. I mean, as long if I can continue to do this and make stuff for you guys that you enjoy, that I enjoy making, and just make enough money to keep doing it, like that's like a dream come true right there. So in terms of brands or sponsorships, uh, short answer is no. You, you've probably noticed you haven't seen any videos that have been sponsored by any particular brand. Now I think that's for a couple reasons. Number one, I have done zero in the way of reaching out to brands. I haven't hit up anybody in terms of like like asking, hey, do you guys wanna work together? Do you guys want, I just haven't done any of it because I've been so focused on just creating the content and getting into a good rhythm. But likewise, I mean, you know, I've, of course I've had people reach out. I mean, I've had some, some kind of odd things. <laughs> But you know, nothing super significant. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm in, not in any rush to to turn around and make a bunch of money on this stuff. I'm focused first and foremost on obviously creating good content, and then if I can make a living, cool. Other revenue sources. Uh, so for example, literally two days ago, I launched my new Patreon. But a few people did come and check out the Patreon and sign up, and and I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I'm going to be doing video workshops over there and adding some extra goodies and things. If you want to check it out, cool. But but really, I mean, I, just you being. Here, here is more than enough and thank you for that so that's kind of the money deal i mean you know really it's been awesome that hey i can pay my rent this month um but it, is, it hasn't been anything like mind-boggling which is fine one thing that that hasn't been a struggle for me is the production rate however what i have experienced are times when i'll create something that I'm just not happy with. You know, there's things that I haven't put out and things that I have put out. Like yesterday's video, you can go to five or six doors or just one. It just turned into this ridiculous thing that was super fun to make. And then I, I you know, I put it together and I was like, okay, you know, I, 
I, I just, yeah, I, I went, as, as soon as, as soon after I made it, I really struggled with it for a minute. I was just like, it's like there's parts of it that are really good and then parts of it that I wasn't as big a fan of. But your guys' response was overwhelmingly positive and I'm super grateful for that, thank you. But that's definitely, and, and I've struggled with that as a, as a musician and as an artist, you know, even before I was making content for any significant audience. You know, you make things and you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And it's it's uh, sometimes a struggle to f get yourself to uh, to like the things you make. And then of course there's the struggle too, where it's like, I don't wanna feel like I'm making the same video every time, you know? So as, as fun as the dubs are to make, like I wanna do a wide variety of things because it's inter it keeps it more interesting for me. And I hope it keeps it more interesting for you as well. See, yeah, see the thing with me is like, I just, I have so many ideas just bouncing all over in my head constantly. So many different things that I wanna try and so many different things that I wanna do. Like I love filmmaking, love it, I absolutely love it. And you know, when, when something like this happens and a lot of you are here to see me play the piano, my first priority is to respect that while at the same time trying to find creative ways to say, here's all these other things bottled up in my head that that I feel like could be fun to do and fun for you guys to watch. Failure has, it, it's, it's not a new thing for me and for any creative, for any artist or musician out there, like you know this, I mean, it's not a new thing for us. It's new in the sense of when, when I'm making something thinking, okay, I'm gonna put this out and I'm, this is gonna be like, you know, a video on my channel and I make it and I finish it and I go, no, it's not. <laughs> That's always a struggle. In fact, I'll give you uh, I'll give you a little bit of something that I made actually this week that I really enjoyed making. I had a blast editing. It's just what I wanted it to be when I got done with it and I showed it to some friends and some people really close to me and like it was kind of unanimous that it was like, I mean, yeah, it just doesn't really do what I wanted it to do. It was basically a scene but written with that autocomplete function that I've been using to write music with, which I've been totally fascinated by. And I think the thing that's fascinating to me is the idea that how can you convey emotions or convey a meaning without words that mean anything. I took that and I wrote it into like a script for a scene and just experimented with that. So, so here's a look at a video that I made and ultimately decided I wasn't gonna go with. Maybe we don't need to be there in front. Maybe you don't even need to go anywhere near the store. All right. Then what do you do? I'll, I'll be in a different mood. You don't really appreciate the audience as much for checking in. It's the only way. Uh, you, you can't just say that. I know what you know. You know what I think you know. It's just not about it. Oh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. So yeah, there you go. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it was fun to make, but it just ultimately, I, I think, missed the mark in terms of what I was trying to get across with it, which wasn't necessarily humor, but it was more just this exploration of the idea of how can we convey, you know, a, a, a meaning through meaningless dialogue. But yeah, overall, I mean, that's been that's been something to get used to is, is to create something and be comfortable enough to say, nope, can it, no good. Back to the drawing board, try again. Here's something that I'd love your feedback on because I've obviously been uploading daily. For me, I feel as though it's much more valuable for not only myself as a creator, but for you, more importantly, as the audience, if what I'm giving you is is of the highest quality and not necessarily focus so much on quantity. Just from my like personal feelings, I, I feel as though if it came down to it and there's a day that I don't upload because I don't feel like whatever I made that day was good enough, I feel like I'd rather not put something out that's subpar. Instead, really try to hone my ideas till I get something that I really think is great. I wanna be as consistent as possible, but I also don't wanna just pump out garbage for the sake of pumping out content. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a, a, a good summary of it. I haven't made a lot of money, although I've made enough, which is incredible. And I have all of you to thank for that. So thank you so much for checking out my content and, and subscribing or following or just watching the videos. I really, really do appreciate it. My biggest struggle has been making sure that I'm happy with the content that I'm putting out. I have made stuff that I wound up canning because I didn't think it was good enough. Oh, and the, and the one thing that I've always seen, you know, creators that I follow say, which now I understand is you always, always, always feel 
like it's just all gonna end. It's just all gonna stop tomorrow. You're just gonna turn around and everybody's gonna be gone. In the beginning, I mean, I was posting two Instagram videos a day because I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going, you know. And and it's like you have almost this sort of panic mode in a sense where you're like so worried that if you stop for one second, it's all gonna go away. And then I look at some of my favorite channels and I realize, oh yeah, they only post once a week. And not that I wanna do that, cause I mean, you know, my videos are so short and I have such a fun time making them that, that I wanna post really often. But it's, uh, yeah, that's a feeling that, that now I, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from when they say like, you just, you feel like it could all end tomorrow. But the biggest takeaway from all this is that the support that everybody has shown me has just been mind boggling and I'm truly grateful. That's about it for this update and you won't see another one of these for a while, I promise. Thanks so much for watching. Links in the description to my other social profiles, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. There's also a link to the new Patreon if you'd like to just check it out and see what's going on over there. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in the next video.